Hi YouTube, it's Callie, and today, um, there's a reason why my eyebrows aren't done, but the rest of my makeup, uh, is, but, um, I'm doing an eyebrow routine for you guys, because, um, on Instagram, along with the everyday hair makeup, this was also super requested, I can't talk today, I can never talk, um, so I wanted to do this, and just, I like doing requested videos because I know you guys want to see these and yeah so that's why my eyebrows aren't done in this video because I'm just going to kind of share what I do and hopefully it helps you or anything and then I also have one I guess eyebrow hack you can do and yeah so keep watching if you want to see this. So for the shaping portion of my eyebrows. I just tweeze my eyebrows. I don't, I'm currently learning how to thread them because to me it looks like a lot faster and easier but as of right now I just tweeze my eyes, eyebrows. <laughs> um, yeah, so. <laughs> my liking I'll keep going back and fidgeting with it um but that's mainly how I do the trimming part of it and you can already tell that this one is looking a lot nicer than that one before we move on to how I fill them in I have the kind of eyebrow hacks they're like life hacks um I have two of them and the First one is for while you're plucking how you want your shape. You want it to um, still fit to your face. So you, I use the finger rule, and which is this is where your brow should start, this is where your arch should be, and this is where it should end. You just use the um, corners of your eye and then the middle of your eye kind of is where the arch should just about B. I don't really have much of an arch on my eye, but eyebrow, but you can work with it. Um, like I have a tiny bit, and that kind of helps for a guideline of plucking on how you want your eyebrows to fit to your face. And then I have a, l a little hack for anyone who doesn't like plucking their eyebrows, they just don't like the idea, it's too painful. Um, and they don't really like going to get them done. What you can do to hide those little hairs that um, get into the way of you is you can just take some concealer and take one of the spoolie brushes and you can um, push that hair out and you can cover it in the concealer and it won't be noticeable at all. Or um, even you can... Um, just go right over it with concealer, that helps too, but if you want it like completely fully covered, I suggest taking like the individual hair thing or like a couple of hairs and then you um, go over it with concealer. Usually like concealers like stick concealer and stuff works really well with it. Um, I haven't tried it with liquid concealer, 
but if I'm letting my brows kind of grow out like I did for this video because I wanted to be able to kind of show you guys, then that's what I'll do if I'm really not happy with them at the time, so yeah. For filling my brows in, I don't have any special brow stuff that I use. I honestly just use eyeshadow because I find that it works just as well as any of those hyped brow stuff. Um, or not like, I guess not like the brow gels obviously and stuff, but any brow powders. It's basically the same thing. Um, so for my everyday, I just use this angled brush. It's really, really old. Um, I think I got it in a set from like Claire's or something. And I have this um, eyeshadow duo from, whoops, from H&M, I believe. And it just has one of my best eyeshadows that match my brows. And this is kind of what I use when I'm on an everyday basis and I just roughly fill them in. I don't you really do them too harshly because um, I don't really have like super harsh brows. I still want it to look natural and then I'll go back over with the spoolie brush just so it isn't too harsh. And then the other thing I do if um, I'm getting ready for something, I don't know, just more regular, I mean more special than every day, um, I'll take this brush, which I got in like a 32 piece set from Amazon, and I'll take my Pop Beauty palette, and it's the smoking Hot one, I think, yeah, and I'll take this color in it. And I'll just use that. And this is a little more precise because it's a smaller brush. So um, if I want my brows to kind of, you know, stay longer and I want it to be super, super precise, I use this. And they're very, very similar colors. Um, I think the Pop Beauty one is a little darker. But... Then, always, 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 I go back over it with the spoolie brush because I hate it being too harsh. I just don't like the way it looks on me. Um, other people can pull off that super harsh brow, but I really can't. And unfortunately, I have pretty big eyebrows. Um... I guess it's not unfortunate because I it fits to my face, but I have naturally big eyebrows, so yeah. That's kind of what it looks like when I fill it in, and it is a little red, obviously, right here from um, plucking and stuff, and right here, and it's going to do that, and it's going to be red for a little while, but um, yeah, and Honestly, when I pluck for the first time, I always go back, I always miss things, so I go back over it and do more stuff. So, yeah. Um, how you do your brows is a personal preference. Um, I think that most people can pull off the way that they do brow their brows, whether it's harshly, whether they have really thin, drawn-in brows. I just think that this is what looks best with my face. I don't really think that super thin brows look best. Um, I kind of just work with what I have, and right here, I got right here a little bit too harsh. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I just do, and you can see there is a bit of a difference between these two. This one just looks fuller and more groomed versus this one. And so I hope I helped you guys somewhat. Um, 
are just kind of, I don't know, the life hacks, brow hacks is what I'm calling them, helped you some, um, and yeah, it's really, really warm in my room right now, and so my face is getting really red, because I'm one of those people who, um, when they get really warm, they have, like, really naturally rosy cheeks, and that's what's happening right now, um, so, yeah. And I look really pale right here because of the lie. And I'm having some issues right now. And I'm just going to cut this out because no one cares. Um. So, thank you guys for watching. And, um. If you do your brows. If you pluck your brows, give this a thumbs up. Or if you thread your brows, give this a thumbs up. Um. Because I will do an update in one once I learn how to kind of thread them and I'm good at it. And I have maybe more tips for you guys on how to do it. Um, so yeah, I hope this kind of answered the questions you guys had. And of course, if you have more questions, just ask me at Twitter, Instagram, anything. The links will be down below. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Um, comment request. Or anything you have to say. I love reading you guys' comments and suggestions. And yeah, that's all. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week.